All right, we should have a really good understanding now of how to multiply fractions. And um, so now we're going to introduce an application problem. And this application problem is dealing with area. Now, area is a two dimensional measure. It's things like if you want to figure, you know, how much carpet you're going to need or how much paint that you'd have to have to paint a wall. Um, anytime that you have a length and a width, you can figure the, the amount of space that's um, covering that. So like for instance, think about your carpet on your floor. If, if you look at your, say, your, your living room floor, then your living room is generally fairly rectangularly shaped and in order to figure the amount of carpet that we'd have to have, we would have to measure the length of the room times the width of the room. If you'll think about the way carpet comes, you hear it advertised on the radio and, and the, the TV as so much per square foot or so much per square yard. That's because whenever you're multiplying um, like so many feet times so many feet, we end up with feet squared. It's very, very similar to, or it's exactly like the idea of, remember when we wrote things in exponential form and we had something like, um, let's say, 2 times 2 times 2. This was 2, which was the base, written three times. So the exponent tells you how many times to multiply it to itself. This is the exact same concept this exponent is telling you how many times to multiply feet to itself. And if you had square yards, it would be the exact same thing. All right, so let's use that and let's try to figure the area of this rectangle. Um, you know, when you're figuring area in real world times, you have to be able to work with fractions because, you know, very, very rarely is your room exactly 12 feet long or you know 16 feet long or 20 feet long it's almost always a fractional amount of a measure okay so here we have a rectangle that is 7 fifths inches this direction and 3 14 inches this direction so we have our length and our width of this rectangle well if area equals the length times the width we're going to replace this. That means that the area will equal, instead of the length, we know that the length is 7 fifths of an inch. So we're going to multiply that to the width. And in this case, the width is 3 fourteenths of an inch. Now we can multiply just the fraction part just looking at that, and I'm going to do that over here to the side. If I have 7 fifths times 3 over 14, well, looking to see if we can cancel anything in, to begin with to make sure that it um, is in its smallest form, looks like 7 will go into 7 one time, and 7 will go into 14 two times. So when we multiply that, 1 times 3 would be 3, and 5 times 2 would be 10. So when we multiply just the number parts, we get 3 over 10. And then when we multiply inches to inches, that's the same thing as saying inches squared. Remember, again, that notation means that you're multiplying something to itself two times. And what you're multiplying would be inches. So our area would be 3 tenths square inches.